What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. So I'm sitting here contemplating on what exactly to work on today. I have a bunch of stuff that I would like to do. Um, I also have some stuff that I need to do. I really wanna work on the blazer right now. Uh, I wanna work on the dash. I wanna get the interior a little bit more complete and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things that I need to do to this as far as the rear end, drive shaft, stuff that really needs to be done and not stuff that I really want to do. But in order to keep my priorities in line I need to uh, do some things that have to be done probably the title and thumbnail <laughs> uh, we're gonna work on the CRV today uh, we still have those damn transmission problems as you guys know I've been putting a lot of work into that thing trying to get it to where it is a daily drivable vehicle you know what I'm saying air conditioning is working and all that we got most of the check engine lights off we still have one on there but the big problem with that damn thing is the transmission in which I do have another transmission to swap into it no it's not a five-speed I would love to do a five-speed conversion but as you guys know the all-wheel drive five-speed transmissions for those B series are freaking expensive bro they cost more than I have into that damn CRV altogether you know what I mean um, and it's just not an expense that I can really justify at this moment so I do have another automatic that I'd like to swap into it that thing has been sitting on the side of the house now for over a week untouched so I know damn well the battery's gonna to be dead i'm not even gonna try we're gonna pull the ep3 over there and give it a jump start Well, here we go, man. You guys already know the tail. We gotta pull the wheels, axles, pop that lower ball joint. We've got a rear T-bracket we gotta do, this uh, torque mount, uh, pull the starter, and of course, all the bolts that are actually bolted in transmission to the block. Another thing is this thing has working AC, so we need to leave all the lines. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the radiator, uh, all that stuff, so we gotta kinda try to work around that. Um, and if I'm being honest with you guys, this is gonna be kind of like a therapy day for me. I'm just gonna try to zone out, uh, forget about all the bullshit that is going on with life. I'm gonna put some music on and just zone out on this thing get this transmission pulled out so i'm not going to do a whole lot of explaining this and that or narrating what it is i'm doing i'm just going to set the camera up and like i said dude just kind of zone out and it's going to be my therapy session to just get my mind off this shit you know what i mean that's one of the great things about working on cars is just that. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and I'll see you guys whenever we got this big ass paperweight sitting on the freaking concrete.
What's up, pupper? What's up, baby boy? What's up, dude? He's out here being a monster, huh? What's up? <laughs> I can never catch this dude's real, like, personality on camera. Every time I pull out the camera, it's like he knows and he gets all shy and shit. What's up, man? What's up? You out here running the yard? Huh? You running this bitch? Oh, there's Toby. Oh, there's Toby. Like, hold up. Pupper's up here getting attention. I'm just... Oh. All right, got that big old behemoth out of there. That is a heavy ass transmission, bro. It would be quite some weight reduction to actually convert this thing over to a five speed for sure. But unfortunately, that's not what we're doing. Anyhow, out with the old and in with the new. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and spray this thing off a little bit. It's not, I mean, it's pretty dirty in some places. Uh, but for the most part, it's really clean in comparison to the one we just took out. But while we have it out, we may as well just go ahead and pressure wash it. Get all this built up shit out of here. All right, it's got this thing all cleaned up. I am gonna go ahead and pop that starter off so that we can pull this torque converter. Oh, it's not even holding the torque converter. So I was looking it up and if you guys remember, I mentioned to you guys that I wonder if the problem with the transmission that was in the CRV was because Braven didn't put transmission fluid inside of the torque converter before he installed the transmission. Now. Uh, one thing that Braven later had mentioned to me is he never dumped the transmission fluid out that was already in it to begin with. So it more than likely had fluid in it. But I was doing some research and it turns out that it's recommended to put fluid in these, but it's not like an absolute must. It's not like something that you absolutely have got to do. Mm, nothing's coming out. Yeah. Anyhow, it is recommended to put transmission fluid in it before you install it just so that it's not dry whenever you initially start it for the first time. But it's not something that's like absolutely necessary, I guess. I don't know. So I don't think that's what our problem was. But I am going to go ahead and dump some transmission fluid in here before we install it. Thank you. 
All right, so I dumped some in there, uh, make enough for me to feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too crazy with it because I'm afraid that whenever I go to stand this thing up, it's going to dump all over the place. See, with the amount that I already have in there, it's wanting to pour out whenever I stand it up. So we have to slide it back onto the transmission. And then we get the fun task again, this heavy son bitch up inside of there. <sighs> So I've decided instead of bringing the transmission up to the engine, I'm going to bring the engine down to the transmission. Works smarter, not harder. <laughs> problem is the engine has a lean to it, so I need the transmission to have that same lean. Freaking dowels literally slid right in, bro. <laughs> Thank you.
bit last night and then again a little bit today and just ran to the gas station. It seems to be doing a lot better than what it was before. Um, it's still stupid ass slow, of course. I mean, it's a stock LS bolted up to an automatic all wheel drive transmission. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't mind that squeaking. I went over a uh, pulling into the driveway over there, bent the little tabs up again on the bottom. Anyhow, I think that the transmission swap was most certainly a success. Uh, it has a lot more pep. It doesn't do that whole like slow takeoff uh, once it warms up. So uh, I, I don't know if it was necessarily the transmission or if it was the torque converter either way what does it really matter it's working now right <laughs> anyhow guys that's pretty much it for today's video uh, i got accomplished what it was that i wanted to get accomplished uh now i'm just need to make it home this car is a little bit loud and heaven forbid i get shot at you know what i'm saying i gotta be careful i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do smash the like button peace and i'll see you guys on the next one what should we work on next man put it in the comments down below i pretty much have something to do uh, to every single one of my projects, so you already know.